Hi guys, I'm Natasha Karam and I'm taking a time out from the Blu-ray Top 10 to give you a look at the new Netflix interface on the Xbox 360. All right, so for this portion of the video, I'm joining Natasha. This is Ara, by the way. And Natasha, let's just get right into the uh, Netflix interface. All right, let's get started. So head on over to Video Marketplace, scroll over to Netflix and press select. And it takes a few seconds to load. Uh, we do have a very fast connection, but uh, your mileage may vary depending on how fast your connection is. It may take a little bit longer. And you are greeted when you get in here with the recently watched uh, videos. And what's cool about this, Natasha, is if you're in the middle of a video, you don't have to go hunting for it. It's right here, um, you know, for whatever you're watching, easy to get back to and, and finish the movie. All right, so it looks like the last, Thing that you've been watching is Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Are you sure you don't want to watch Buffy? <laughs> that I think that's my daughter who uh, who put that on there. Trust mm -hmm. me, I am sure not a buff. See what else is on my uh, you know what? No, let's not see what else here. Let's go <laughs> check out uh, Terminator. <laughs> All right, let's check out Terminator. See, since it's the last one you've been watching, looks like you haven't finished it, so we'll see where you left off. And what you'll notice here is it does say HD, and that uh, so we're expecting a little bit better quality here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't say HD, and it's it's still widescreen, but this uh, it will give you a little bit uh, higher quality video. And it does take a few seconds to load, and there it is. It you know it doesn't look that bad actually. I, I hope the quality uh, turns out on this, but um, video quality pretty good. Audio sounds pretty good, but Natasha, you know one of my big disappointments here. You you can. Guess what it is, right? It's in Pro Logic. Exactly. Not Dolby Digital. Now I know at some point they are going to come up with the um, Dolby Digital for the Xbox 360, and I believe right now it's only available on the um, PS3. In fact, they even have Dolby Digital Plus on the PA, uh, on PS3. All right, so let's go explore a little bit more. All right, we'll head on back. See what else we have in this. Back again. So it looks like there's a lot of different categories you can go through. We can search a movie in the search category. What would you like to search for? Why don't you pick a movie? All right, my favorite movie, 500 Days of Summer. Let's see, let's head on over to the numbers. 500. Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, it's a DVD only. So it looks like they don't have it. Well, at least, uh, you know what, select it. See if it lets you put it on your regular queue. All right, let's go on over. So you can add it to your DVD queue. So that's kind of cool. So if, if you make the decision that you want to watch it and watch it now, but it's not available, at least you can add it to your DVD queue and it'll show up in your mailbox. All right, um, let's go and explore a little bit. There's a whole bunch of categories we saw here. Let's see if we can find something interesting in those categories. Head back. There's the instant queue, so you got three in there. Now, I can tell you the La Femme Nikita, that's in French, and I'm sure my daughter put that on there because she's studying French. Pushing right. Daisies and Charles in Charge, I don't know where those came um, from. I think Charles in Charge is from you. <laughs> exactly, because I'm a big Scott Bio <laughs> uh, fa uh, fan. Uh, you know, let's go take a look at what the top picks are for me. Wow, this is... It looks like you have been watching Buffy. Oh, my goodness. My, what's my... You know, we're sending my daughter to school. This is what she's doing <laughs> at, at, at school, watching uh, Netflix. Watch it now. Uh, the only thing on there that's for me is 24. Interesting. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other uh, categories. All right, so we scroll on up. There's some romantic comedies, some crime TV dramas, action thrillers. Scroll on more. You oh, interesting. Go, go back down one. Let's see. Go back. Uh, one, uh, yeah, so things that are in your queue, it even has a category that says stuff that's like, so like Charles in Charge, and uh, going up like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Interesting. Okay, and then uh, Anastasia. Okay, we, yeah. new arrivals. New arrival movies, new arrival TV. So. Yeah, television, one of my favorites, Family Guy. Cool. So, you know, that there's we're not going to go through all these categories. But there was one last feature we did want to talk about, and that's the party mode. All right, party time. Head on over. Mm, there it is. So we'll select party. 
And it has a list of all your uh, contacts or, or friends that you game with. And if you want, you can actually start watching a movie with them. So let's uh, select Jacques, Jacques de Rock. So See what happens here. Select that. And he's offline, but uh, an invite has been sent to him. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to party. No, actually, I think what it's for is <laughs> you could watch a movie or a television show together. Uh, that's uh, the only thing I can figure. I've not started a party. Have you started a party yet, I Tasha? I have not started a party. I'm not sure if I'd want to start a party. So let me ask you. If you were sitting at home watching a movie on Netflix and somebody wanted to watch a movie with you, do you think that's a big feature or is it just a, a gimmick? I think it's a cool feature. I definitely don't think it's a feature I would use often. Just because when I watch movies, I kind of like to actually watch a movie and not to have somebody talk to me during the movie. Exactly. So if you want a friend to just watch a movie, you say, hey, go check out this movie. And then he watches it on his time and you watch it on your time. And then before you know it, you, know, you just talk about it, but having it like this, I, I'm I'm not a big fan of this. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. It's uh, pretty easy to navigate. It's very Xbox 360 looking, but yeah. that's not a bad thing. It just it just fits in nicely with the whole Xbox 360. So I think you know, Tasha, let's do this. Let's um, do another video in a week or so about the Netflix on Apple TV, and we can also do one about Roku. And then uh, you know, maybe we'll just kind of go through these, and our listeners and viewers can decide which uh, interface they prefer. Sounds good to me. If you're wondering who that is on the screen, that's Ara, the little, <laughs> little bald man on the side. Uh, I have hair, at least. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> So we're going to exit, and uh, with that, we're done with the video part of this. So that's a quick look at the new Netflix interface on the Xbox 360. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. We're planning on doing more of these videos, so please feel free to give us your feedback. Send your email to hdtvpodcasts at back.com, or you can email me directly at top10tasha at gmail.com, or you can always follow me on Twitter at top10tasha. And finally, if you want to help support the HT Guys, you can do so by buying your home theater gear at our store. Please go to htguys.com shop. See you guys later.